Hello and welcome to Flippin' Awesome. I'm Mindy and today we're gonna go over how to freeze your greens. Now it's a really simple process and this will definitely work for any type of greens that you have on hand. And they can be uh, fresh greens from your garden or if you happen to find a big sale on greens at your local grocery store or farmer's market uh, like I did, uh, definitely get your greens and you can freeze them. It's a real easy process and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is get some water in a stock pot and uh, get that boiling. Okay, the second thing you wanna do is if your vegetables came from out of your garden uh, or a farmer's market or something along that lines, you'll definitely want to give them a wash. Give them a little bath. They'll like it. I think you'll like it too in the end. So you get your greens. They came out of your garden or wherever they came from. And some people even like to wash their vegetables from the store again. Mm, I don't know. Some do. It's all good. To me, it doesn't really matter. All right, so what you do then is in cool running water, just give them a little quick toss, clean them up, make sure there's no bugs or bad leaves. Simple as that. Okay, now the after your greens are cleaned, then you'll want it to go ahead and give them a chop. You want to chop them up. Just big, big chops. It, it doesn't have to be, be finely chopped. So if you have like a handful, just gather them up. Let's make sure we do this without me cutting my fingers off. But some of you out there probably would enjoy that. I don't know why. Sickos. So anyways, just a quick chop. Throw it in your bowl for right now. And that's it. Um, now the leaves that I got from the store, they're actually not all that big. You know, they're, you know, about this big. So I really won't be chopping up my spinach. Uh, but depending on what kind of greens you have, yeah, you'll definitely want to have them, you know, at least no bigger than this. You know, chop them up to about this size or smaller. Okay, I think I'm ready for the next step. How about you? Okay, the next step, we have our water boiling at this point. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump in our greens. quite a bit in there. There we go. And then just give it a little stir. Now this is called blanching. We're just gonna lightly cook them. We're not gonna totally cook them, but lightly cook them just until they're wilted. And that should do it right there. You can see how that kind of wilted. And they just turned a different color. It's a brighter green, so yeah, that's, that's definitely all you need. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this or use a scoop to scoop out your leaves, but it's quicker just to strain it. And I'll show you what I do. Okay, I'm back at the strainer where I initially was washing my leaves. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that big bowl underneath so I can catch that hot water, you know, so I can reuse it and won't take as long to reheat. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump that in. 
then you're just gonna go ahead and pour that hot water back into your pot. And put that back on the stove and do your next batch. All right, now that we're all done blanching all of our greens, we need to let them cool. And how I do that is uh, I like to put them in separate bowls and put them in the fridge. They'll cool a lot quicker. Or you can just let them sit out on your counter for about an hour or so and stir them occasionally. Um, and the reason why you want to do that is because you wouldn't believe how warm it stays in the center uh, of all those vegetables. So anyways, once they're cool, then we get to do the fun part of packaging and I'll show you what I use and you just shove them in the freezer. Easy as that. And this is what I like to use. Okay, when I go to freeze my vegetables, I like to use either reusable storage containers and you can pick these up just about anywhere. Uh, same thing with the uh, plastic storage bags. So, there you go. Woohoo! Okay, it's all packaged up. I had uh, six containers of baby spinach and I ended up with three sandwich size containers of uh, blanched spinach, uh, some broth, and I'll explain that in a second, and two doo -doo 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 bags of spinach also. So be sure to label so you know what you have in your freezer. For uh, more drier items that are inside your containers, I like to use just paper labels and I'll just shove them inside before I close the container. Uh, with the anything that's more liquidy, like a broth or a soup, uh, you wanna use some type of a plastic. Otherwise, if you use paper in this, uh, it'll act like a wick. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Then of course your uh, baggies, you can just uh, write right on top of them. Uh, now the broth, uh, which is really cool, a lot of people will throw their water down the drain. Don't do that, it's a vegetable broth. You can use that for many, many, many different things. Well, I tell you what, I'm feeling strong already and I'm just looking at the stuff. So anyways, if you love my content, or even just like it, either way, hey, it's all good, uh, please subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it, and uh, we'll be bringing more content your way uh, with Flippin' Awesome. You have no idea what I'm going to be putting on. I am into so many different things, you know, so subscribe below, and have an awesome, fabulous day.